Good morning, I'm Kwan Yin, and this is I Have No Cut Cards Tarot. Today is December the 22nd, 2021. If any of my uh, readings benefits you or spiritually resonates with you in a way in which you feel inspired to donate, uh, my information is in the description link below. Uh, I have a cash app and PayPal. Other than that, uh, no one should be contacting you about any uh, donation. Uh, if so, it is fraud. Uh, if donating is not an option uh, and you would still like to honor the universal law of reciprocity, hit that like button and send me positive energy. Uh, and may you also be mutually blessed. Okay, so with, with that, uh, let's get started. I have another camera angle. <laughs> um this morning because I want you all to be able to see these cards better. Okay, please funnel through me clearly and directly for the intended collective, the energy and information needed and protect it from outside influences and low vibrational entities that seek to confuse and distort the divine messages. Please allow the intended listener to extract what is needed to put them on their highest path for their highest good. Please channel through me with clarity and insight as plain and simple uh, as to be understood uh, and provide insight and light to each and every one of their guided pathways. Amen. Amen Ra. first time. Somebody going through some type of change right now. Somebody is healing from something. One last card. I saw two of them. And then here he is again. I should have pulled it the first time. It's Aries card right here. I 
I'll put these up here where you all can see them. That came out. Then we have the this up here. These two up here are the last two cards that had came out. And then uh, Aries uh, is at the top of the deck here. So it looks like with the three of uh, swords uh, that is reversed up here, um, it may be, and then you got the three of pentacle uh, reverse. Uh, it looks like uh, that could possibly be um, uh, the end of a contract, possibly the end of a marriage. Um, uh, that could be happening right now in real time. That's why uh, we have the Six of Cups that came out. Uh, so this is something that could be happening uh, in the current energy. And remember, uh, energy is fluid and um, everyone still has free will. Everybody has free will. So this could be the intentions of somebody, the way someone's feeling, an action that somebody wants to take or in, they're in the process of taking or heavily thinking about taking but they may not take that action you know uh when when we read these cards it is about the energy that is currently present like i could wake up in the morning uh, with the intention of going to the farmer's market uh and that's my plan for the day i'm gonna go to the farmer's market and then um i'm gonna go work out at the gym and then i'm going to um uh go for a walk in the park so when we do a reading in the morning, that's the energy that might come out in the cards because that is what my plans are. That's the energy at that time. However, throughout the day, things can change. I can change my mind. I could decide not to do that. Suddenly, you know, I can get a phone call that's disturbing and have to rush off somewhere else, you know? And if you do a reading later in the day, you know, it'll come out different because now there has been a shift in the energy. Something has changed. So just remember, you know, uh, with these cards, this, um, it could be the energy at the time, but everyone has free will and anything can change at any time. So, uh, beginning right now, it's looking like, um, somebody, uh, it looks like might have been healing their heart from possibly a, a, a contract, uh, with the three of pentacles reversed here. Uh, and this could be uh, what someone's going through kind of right now. Then we got the sun reversed here, you know. The sun is reversed next to the uh, three of wands. So uh, somebody somebody might not be expecting things to get any better now. They might be um, at a lower point uh, with that sun reversed. I'll clarify it later. The fool reversed. Somebody's not taking a leap of faith. Somebody doesn't want to take another chance. So they're being very careful uh, because, you know, the fool represents, uh, you know, taking a chance upright. But because it's in the reverse, uh, somebody is not ready to uh, take a chance with something they may, may have been thinking about. Um, whatever actions they've taken in the past, um, they're hesitant. That's what it is. They're hesitant. They're expectant, they are expect, expectant of uh, something or someone else possibly. Uh, I feel like somebody might have somebody else on their mind right now uh, after uh, bringing uh, some type of contract to an end. Uh, I feel like somebody has something else on their mind uh, that they're looking at moving toward, but they're not taking a leap of faith at this point. Right now, the sun is reversed for them because of uh, whatever ordeal they just went through. So because they're not taking a leap of faith, I feel like with this page of cups right here, uh, page of cups can represent uh, like a small communication. That's why you only have got one cup here and it's a page, you know, it's not a knight, it's not a queen, a king. So this rep and, and water represents, you know, uh, energy. It represents a communication. So somebody uh, possibly wants to reach out to somebody, but they're scared to leap, take a leap of faith at them. So maybe they've just ended 
Uh, they've just ended a, a marriage or some type of a, a, a soul contract with someone they may have been involved with. Uh, and right now their world might be upside down a little bit. The sun card reverse. Um, they've always had somebody else on their mind, you know, that they wanted to come toward, but they're thinking about, uh, the actions that have been taken with this three of wands here. So they're thinking about the past actions that they took with this person and they're afraid to take a leap of faith because they know that, um, um, some type of actions, uh, might get them a uh, very negative, uh, uh, results. They might have left somebody on bad terms. They might have a wounded or done something to the person now they're thinking about and wanting to return to. That's why they're afraid to take the sleep of faith, but they, uh, but they want to test the water. Somebody want to test somebody's temperature. They want to take your temperature. You know, when somebody know they did something wrong and they scared to straight up communicate with you because they know that you know what they did. They know that you done did some fuckery to them while they were dealing with you, whether it be in a friendship, whether it be in a family, whether it be in a relationship. So some time then went by, right? And now they want to get back in contact with you, but because they're overweighed by the guilt of what they did, and they know you know what the fuck they did too. They just want to know if you are in a space of forgiveness or not. So they're offering a breadcrumb of communication. So this might be somebody that might be contacting you uh, through social media, uh, maybe uh, in disguise under a fake account. This might be somebody that just might send you a little text message, you know, hey, or... Merry Christmas. You know, just something very, very small because they're testing your temperature to see if it's safe uh, uh, to start a conversation with you, to see if it's safe to get back in contact with you. They did something wrong and they scared. They scared you're going to uh, uh, go to hell off on their ass. Okay, so here we have... Um, the Nine of Wands. This person... Either this person is thinking about um, how they may have wounded you or this per uh, in the past. Someone might be thinking about either how they wounded you or they might be how they are now wounded from whatever situation they're coming out of here. Somebody is definitely coming out of a situation that they were already in. Possibly, uh, this could possibly be someone that might have deserted or left you for another situation that they may have thought was better because, you know, they haven't learned yet that everything that glitter ain't gold and they were wounded and there was a lot of conflict and fighting. You see here with the five of wands and the nine of wands. So somebody was wounded and I'm hoping you all can see these cards. Somebody was wounded here. Uh, it was a whole lot of fighting and conflict. And they poured out all their emotions to this person. They, I feel like this is somebody that completely opened up to somebody that they thought was their wish fulfillment. They completely gave somebody else that they thought was their wish fulfillment uh, uh, everything that you wanted. Whether it be, I don't see any pentacles here. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing a whole lot of emotion here. So somebody went to somebody else and completely opened up and completely uh, emotionally poured their energy and fulfillment into another connection. And it left them in a lot of fighting and conflict and it left them wounded. So it ended a cycle. They realize, uh, uh, they realize the path that they chose, the path that they chose, uh, left them wounded and beat up, but they got a real, this looks like a spiritual ass whooping right here. That's what this looked like. Somebody got a spiritual ass whooping because they were told not to go down that road. They were at a split in the road. Somebody was at a split in the road and... Somebody, they came to a split in the road and they had the devil on one shoulder 
telling them to go left and they had God on their right shoulder, the little angel, <laughs> telling them to go right. And they chose to go left. Because the left looked better to them. And this person might have been operating out of, uh, out of their root chakra. Uh, they might not have been intuitive or listening to their intuition. And they might have been, the, the road and the path that they were following was based on uh, uh, very superficial and shallow things. So that's what they went ahead and skedaddled and followed. And that led them, like I said, uh, to the spiritual ass whooping I'm looking at here with all these goddamn rods all upside somebody's head. Looking at all them lumps and bumps. Okay, so the cycle ended. And now we have uh, the devil here. Okay, this is Capricorn energy. This is Earth energy. And what it basically just represents is, you know, things of a carnal nature. It represents uh, obsessions and addictions. Uh, things that you're addicted to. You know, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be drugs. It can be addicted to a lower way, a lower vibrational way of thinking. It could be addicted to things that are shallow, that that have little to no substance. You know, it, it represents dealing with things uh, that are manifested from the nature of your lower, uh, your lower self versus your higher self. Not dealing it with, with things that ha are having to do with your heart and your heart space, in your mind and how you're thinking and the the upper chakras dealing with your lower extremities spiritually and physically they could they could have been addicted to sex which is nothing wrong with it's nothing wrong with that as long as you are connecting yourself uh with if that's what you choose to do uh higher vibrational uh people so this person is has been uh, divided. This person is, is a little bit split in trying to figure out, you know, why they made the choice that split in the road. When they came to that split in the road, why did they make the choice that they made that led them to this path of the devil, which is just, you know, like I said, their lower nature. They still are blinded. They don't see it yet. They're still, they're still not seeing the light yet. They're still not going inside yet to analyze uh, why that, that big question, why do I make the decisions and the choices that I make? They haven't gone inside yet. Because if you can get to the why, then you can get to the how. You can get to the how, then you can get to the next question. You know, uh, what you can get to the, what, what is it inside of me? Uh, what am I getting from choosing this path? What are my needs that are being met? And if you can get to the, what, then you can go further inside, you know, and it goes further and further and further, you know, uh, what is it that I'm crying out for? What type of energy, uh, is it that I need Why I'm taking this lower path? And then you can finally understand, okay, so what is it that I don't have that I'm lacking in that I'm finding uh, this source of energy and following this path? And once you find out what that is, you can find out where you did not get it in your younger years, what patterns are being repeated now as an adult, and then you can start to heal the situation and then this person won't be split anymore in their thinking and blind as to, I don't know why I keep taking this path. But right now, they have not gone inside yet. They're being stubborn. They're still being very, very stubborn. They're stubborn, but they are, uh, they are thinking heavily about it. You know, they're trying to beat their demons. Somebody's trying to beat their demons. With this four of swords energy here, they are in their head. They're in their head wondering, why can't I overcome? Why can't I overcome this addiction that I have? Why am I so stuck in my head and stuck in my lower nature? Why am I stuck there? Why? They can't, they can't move forward 
until they go inside. The key is going inside. There is nothing and no answer that you will find outside of yourself. The only answer you can get is by going inside. You have to go inside of your memories. You got to go into your heart, go into your mind. And I'm not just saying that talking out the side of my neck. Uh, if I was telling this to like a, a, a young child, I'd be like, go inside means to think about your memories. Think about, think about what it is that you like about a particular person and what is it that they're giving to you energetic wise? What, what is it that they do that makes you feel good? What is it that they're saying? Is it, is it, is it flattery? Is it stroking your ego? Uh, what is it that you're getting? And now I need you to go a little bit further now and look at the relationship that you had in your childhood with whomever was rearing you. Look at your relationship, uh, look at the type of relationship you had with the people that you were around when you were growing up and the type of attention you got and how they treated you. And once you start getting into those patterns, then you'll be able to see um, your adult pattern and why you need this type of energy uh, to, for your wish fulfillment. So this person, maybe they're going inside right now. Right now, that they're a little stubborn about seeing what it is, but maybe they're going inside right now. They haven't come up with the answer, but they are going inside right now to figure out why they can't beat this addiction they have. Judgment is reversed. So maybe that judgment reversed because they changed their mind. Uh, they changed their mind uh, about what they thought they initially wanted, why they went chasing that other rabbit down that other hole. You got a little, uh, hmm. Well, it did not lead to wish fulfillment. Whatever it was, it didn't lead to wish fulfillment. Um, I do feel like this possibly could be an Aries or someone in this emperor energy. And then the last two cards that came out here, interestingly enough, was the magician reversed and the knight of pentacles reversed. So I'm wondering if the things that somebody has been trying to manifest and the way they've been planning and the way that they go about trying to get the thing they want to manifest, whether it be money, whether they're chasing money because uh, what's, what comes with money is um, uh, it helps to uh, afford them to feed their addictions further, which is of a low vibration. That's why we've got the magician reversed and the knight of pentacles reversed. Somebody has uh, spent most of their life planning making plans and always scheming and doing things in a way uh, methodically to, um, to get the energy that they want and to get their ego stroke possibly and get lower vibrational things that they thought brought them happiness. It could be material things that they thought would bring them happiness, having a lot of clout. But in manifesting these things, it never brought them wish fulfillment. So now they're going inside to find out uh, uh, one, the, the first word, which is why, why haven't these things brought me happiness? Why? Because they're of a lower, these things are of a lower vibration. That's why they haven't brought you happiness. They're lower vib. It's a lower vibrational, uh, kind of energy. It's like, uh, getting your energy from a light bulb uh, or a lead light versus getting your energy from the sun, which grows everything that we use to make a light bulb and every single thing in this planet is made from something uh, that is powered by the sun, right? Because everything is made from resources in this planet. So everything comes from the sun. So you're getting your energy, you're, 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 uh, you're getting all your energy from a damn light bulb. A light bulb is your energy source when you should be going directly to the sun. The light bulb is uh, represents something that is very superficial. You know, you can put it out easy. If you shake it too hard, it'll go out. It's very shallow. 
The sun is self-sustaining, real energy that has ultraviolet rays that pours life into everyone and everything. You're connected to the wrong energy source. The, and the wrong energy source would be trying to get energy in ego stroking by showing that you have a lot of money, by showing that you have uh, a lot of clout, by showing that you uh, uh, can look the best, by showing that uh, you could have the best looking on your arm, you know, uh, by going after um, uh, people only for what they look like because you feel like it's going to bring more positive energy to you to make you feel good. But it only makes you feel good for a little while, then you feel empty inside again. Because these light bulbs, they light up for a little while, but then they go out. They light up and go out, they light up and go out. The real self-sustaining energy that you really need to tap into is the one uh, of a higher vibration where that you only get from going inside so that you can get your uh, self-worth and your self-esteem together and realize the real quality inside of you. Once you realize that real quality inside of you and recognize your own soul, and you raise yourself to a higher vibration, then you start thinking more high vibrational thoughts and acting, taking more high, vi high vibrational actions. Then you start to feel a higher grade of energy coming in and you grow even more. But you're not going to get all that from no light bulb. Light bulbs go on and off all the time, but the sun burns nonstop. Finish this reading, please. Okay, we got the four of wands reverse. That's it. I think I'm supposed to just go off that go off of that one card right there, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Four of Wands reversed. The Four of Wands reversed because I, I'm hearing I'm hearing the spirit just say in plain words, you can't come into union with another person until you come into union with yourself. I think I might make that uh, the title of this uh, video. You can't come into union with another person until you come into union with yourself. People are chasing shallow, low vibrational things uh, in order to make them happy, to make them feel good. They're chasing, they think their happiness is in shallow things, shallow, low vibrational things that mean absolutely nothing. That's why in one of um, one of Kuan Yin's stories, um, she <laughs> she she would date these men, and she would get close to them, you know. And she was a very beautiful woman. She would use her beauty, but Kuan Yin was a high vibrational shapeshifter. So she actually was using her beauty to get close to men, to uh, but in order to enlighten them. So she would, you know, she would be dating somebody. And then uh, once she got them hooked, then she suddenly start dropping all kinds of enlightenment on them and teaching them about the higher path and teaching them how to meditate and teaching them how to raise their vibration. She was tricking, she was, she was out here tricking men, but she was a high vibrational shapeshifter. So she was tricking men into uh, uh, coming into union with her, drawing them in with her physical beauty. But then once she got them within her grasp, then she was teaching them the way. Then she was helping them raise their vibration. It was like she was trying to teach them, trick them into learning a higher vibration, right? <laughs> and the funny thing about it is, she, in one of her lessons, she was trying to teach, um, in one of her lessons, she was trying to teach uh, one person, this physical body is nothing. It's just a human suit. It is absolutely nothing at all. So, 
she became ill and she died. It, it was intentional. She died and she ascended and then she came back again. But she came back, she came back in another body. She came back in another body. Uh, I think she came back in another body as a man. <laughs> and she went back uh, to the same person and uh, she told them, it's me, it's still me, it's, it's Kuan Yin. You know, and the person couldn't believe her. Very similar, uh, very similar uh, to uh, the Jesus story about him ascending and then coming back and people didn't recognize him. And he was telling people, it's me. You know, all these stories have similarities in them for a reason, but I'm not gonna go into that for right now. She was trying to make the point of, you put so much stock and investment uh, into just this physical flesh and blood that's made out of nothing but things uh, of the earth that the sun uh, grows. It's gonna, it's gonna go back into the earth. I don't care how pretty, I don't care how fine, I don't care how shaped, refined, you know, the person, the man or the woman that you're talking to is. At the end of the day, their, their skin and body is going to rot and go away. It is a soul that lives on and it is a soul that is important. And it is a soul that needs nourishment. And if you're just going after the physical alone by itself, or even just uh, not just looks, just going after material things to nourish them, you will always be unhappy. You will never be fulfilled because these, these things are going to waste away. It is a soul that you have to nourish. Because the soul is not going anywhere. The soul is light, energy, and consciousness. And it's not going anywhere. That's what you need to nourish so that it can grow. So you can graduate from earth eventually. <laughs> so you have to, um, whoever this is, you have to do your shadow work. You have to go inside and find out why am I chasing empty things? Why am I chasing things that are not making me happy? I've obtained this much money, but I'm still not happy. I'm still projecting onto other people. I'm still watching other people's pockets. I'm, I'm still watching other people to find out why the hell are they so happy? Uh, you know, we got Grinches out here. It is Christmas time. We got real motherfucking Grinches out here that have money, clout, and everything, but they still out here watching, they still out here watching somebody that don't have nothing, but they don't understand that person's inner light is shining so bright that everybody is drawn to them. Everybody is still attracted to them and they don't understand why. They don't have no money. They don't wear name brand clothes. They don't drive a nice car. Why do people like this person so much? Why does this person radiate so much energy and attention? They're not even that physically pretty. It's because that person has a, 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 a very high vibration. Energetically, people can feel it because they worked on themselves. Grinches are out here with all the money and all the clout and everything that you could possibly have and want and they still don't understand why. They, they still don't understand why they don't have that same level of joy and happiness as somebody that don't have nothing. You remember in the Bible, the story of David and Uriah? He was jealous. He was jealous. David had many wives. He was wealthy, many concubines, the finest of all fine women. <laughs> that you could ever possibly want and think of. And Uriah was a poor man and he had one wife, one wife. But David in his lower vibration and jealousy was jealous of the one wife, the one woman he could not have. And he couldn't figure out, He, you know, he just couldn't figure out, I've got every single woman I could ever possibly want. So what is it about his one that he has that I just have to have it? I gotta have it. Why does he get so much happiness and joy 
Uh, they broke. They don't have what I have. David set Uriah at the forefront of the battle to make sure he would die first so he could get that one wife. And it still didn't bring him the joy that he wanted. It still didn't it still didn't bring him the inner peace and joy that he wanted because then the prophet came. Uh, I can't recall the name of the prophet at the moment, but then the prophet came. The prophet came and told him the sword will never leave your house. You just cursed your bloodline, David. You just cursed your bloodline because you had plenty of sheep. But yet you went and took this one man's. The only sign that came out was an Aries in this reading. But this really can, this reading can resonate with any sign out there because this is the way that it came out. Around the holidays, it, it, it reminds me of the story of the Grinch. And I'm glad, you know, now it just came to me, this whole Grinch scenario. The Grinch took all the Christmas presents out of every home because the Grinch thought that it was material things that was bringing these people their happiness and their uh, their joy. So he thought if I just, because he didn't have any, his heart was two sizes too small. The Grinch needed to do some heart chakra work. The Grinch thought if, if it's these material things making these people happy and I take it from them, then I will take away their Christmas spirit. I will take away their joy, their happiness. They're not going to be out here singing, you know, and having a good time and laughing with each other. So he took it all. And when he took it all, he, he, he got back and he waited. The Grinch waited with the expectation card. He stepped back. He put his hand to his ear so he could hear everybody crying and moaning and being sad. But what did he hear? He heard people laughing. He heard children run around playing uh, uh, Ring Around the Rosie. Red Rover, Red Rover, send David right over. That's what he heard. He heard kids running around playing. He heard everybody in a circle singing and having a wonderful time and laughing because the joy that these people had, the joy that community had, did not come from material things. The material things was just a bonus. These people cultivated inner joy. These people were at a higher vibration. These people had love. They had love in their heart. And they get that love from doing things that have nothing to do with the material nature. These are people that know how to just go out. They can go out to the ocean. They can go out to parks. They can just step outside their door and look at the sun and give thanks. Because they have a higher vibration and they're being sustained by the sun versus the light bulb. It's time for a lot of y'all to start going inside and find out where is your joy, what is bringing you your joy and happiness, and how long is that happiness uh, being sustained before you need to go out uh, and get something else, spend some more money, do something to hurt somebody, to get energy from them. Some of y'all need to go inside and do your shadow work and find out why you're not happy, why you're not happy, and start looking at a, a, a brand new way of, of um, existing, a brand new way of thinking. That's what you have to do. You have to start looking at how you are thinking and processing things and find, find a new way, find a new way of thinking and processing. Part of that can come in getting into a quiet space and meditating. Don't rush into another relationship. You know, we got this new year coming. Everybody, you know, wants to start things brand new. A lot of things are coming to an end right now. We are going through a very uh, big shift right now. Uh, I believe the shift we're going through has something to do with bringing uh, temperance and balance uh, back into the world and into the universe uh, by pouring the outpouring uh, of the feminine energy back. Because we've been imbalanced as a society too long. So a lot of you, uh, instead of in the new year, uh, if you're coming uh, to the end of a relationship that you know you found uh, not fulfilling, your needs were never met, you didn't get what you were looking or what the expectation was, don't start the new year by thinking you're gonna go into a, a new relationship. Start the new year by turning inward on yourself completely. 
shut people out. You have to shut people out and isolate yourself. I believe this is going to be a year of a lot of people going into hermit mode and working on themselves. So with that, I want to say thank you for listening to my video. Uh, I hope someone got something out of this. Be blessed and have a very safe and fun holiday.